Yo, 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 it's your boy 8 Lil Slime, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastards. Slap. I done ran through a hundred, no cap. Any me in the trap, but I'm rapping. Take it down for a show, yeah, I'm taxing. If I hop in the. Alright, we got 8 Lil Slime off the porch with us today. Shit, what's up, bro? How you feeling today, man? Chill. Same shit. Yeah, appreciate you coming by, man, all the way from Philly. What yeah. you working on here in Atlanta for this trip? Shit, I'll just be in the studio. Yeah. It's an interview. That's it for, for going back to the city after that. Yeah. In my mind, for real. How do you like working down here in Atlanta compared to back at home? It's the same, but it's different because I get meet new people. In my city, it really ain't like, I could know everybody, but it's not really like a working, showing love thing. You got to be up. But down here, it'd be like, you can meet a motherfucker and they'll just tap you in real quick. Yeah. So it'd be like better. All right, so what's life like in Philly these days? Man, that shit the same shit out here. Streets, niggas dying, bitches. Shit be regular, though. Yeah. Ain't really much to it. It's fun, though, but I'd rather be out here. Yeah. Yeah. And you're from Southwest Philly, right? Yeah, 58th Street. Okay. Be exact. So how does the Southwest side of the city compare to the rest of Philly? I don't know. It'd be a lot of dumb shit going on. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just the bid, bro. Yeah. You gotta see it, like. But our side is the best side of me. <laughs> no cat. Real soon. <laughs> so, how old were you when you first jumped off the porch? Man, for real, for real, probably like, probably like ten. I was a little wild, young, little, little wild young boy. What was you doing out there at ten years old? Shit, I was running on the corner. Everything. <laughs> I was on the corner, I was all around the hood, just doing a little typical bad shit. But hey, I probably like shit little niggas my age doing now, I probably did when I was like 10. Yeah. For real, for real though. What was one of the biggest life lessons you learned while out there running the streets? Man, I just stayed in myself, so I can't really say. Ain't nothing really crazy happened to me yet, so. I'm just maneuvering through it, like just being me staying out the way for real, for real. Yeah. That's all I can say. I'm trying to stay out the way. Yeah. Do what I gotta do. Yeah. And you're trying to move out here to Atlanta soon, right? Yeah. yeah. Why Atlanta? What do you fuck with Atlanta, about Atlanta so much? The music scene. I feel like if I come out here, I, could, I got a better chance of catching the wave like faster. Cause like in my city, it'd be like a It'd be like a bunch of hate going on. So like, if you ain't really somebody yet, they ain't really gonna fuck with you until somebody, that somebody say something about you. Yeah. So like, it could be, you could be the hottest motherfucker, but they not gonna fuck with you just cause you ain't got a name. Mm -hmm. So there you go, where the fuck with the old people. Yeah. But I hear it be like, everybody supporting everybody, everybody trying to help a motherfucker get on, everybody on the money. Yeah. I'd rather be in this position than like that. You feel like Atlanta's already started to embrace you? Me? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I got a lot of, I got a little fan base out here. I wouldn't say a big fan base, but it's coming. Yeah. That's all I can say. I see it coming. Like motherfuckers on Instagram. A lot of motherfuckers on Instagram think I'm from Atlanta, but little yeah. do they know I'm from Philly. <laughs> I ain't never understand it, but shit. Yeah. How do the studios down here compare to back at home? It's the same. For real, for real. Yeah. I mean, same quality, if you ask me. Okay. You're just in a studio in a different city. Yeah. That's all that's different. So how long have you been making music now? Uh, probably since I was about like, I say probably about like, since I was like, since I was a youngin', but I started taking it serious like around 15. But I had like, I had, I, I always drop music, catch a wave, then I'll take a break. So it'd be like, I'd be up, then I'd be down, then I'd come back up. Yeah. So I had to learn, like, I gotta stop, like, drop music and stop dropping music and shit like that. Yeah, just be more consistent with it, right? Yeah, that's what I'm on now, though. Yeah. Just keep dropping. 
So who were you listening to when you first started making music? Like who, who kind of inspired you to, you know, kind of want to pursue being a rapper as well? I was just listening to everybody for for a while. I listened to like Meek and them like that. Like the uh like the new era. Yeah. I really wasn't listening to nobody like, oh, like Jay Z, you know. Hmm. I really wasn't listening to them. Um, so do you write or do you freestyle and punch in that? Both. Okay. It depends on what type of song I'm making. Like my mixtape I just dropped too slimy. I freestyle most of them songs. Okay. So it's like freestyling better though. Cause it's like when you're in the studio, you could like you can deliver it how you want to. So it'd be different if you go home, write the song, then when you get in the studio, it might come out a whole different way. So I just go in the studio, knock it out, so I can say the shit how I feel like it. Instead of just writing it, had to remember how the flow was, shit like that. Yeah. How would you describe your sound? Are you kind of on that Atlantic melodic uh, trap beats? Or how would you describe your sound? Both. Cause like when I do the music, I don't, I don't go for one sound. I try to take it here, take it there, just to give them a different flavor of music, so they can know like, if I want to, I could go this way with the music. Yeah. But like, as far as what I'm on now, I'm on like, you could say my mixtape was probably on like the trap side of music, hip hop ish, like that way. It really wasn't on no like. Uh, so how'd you get the name Eight Little Slime? Boy, I wanna hear some shit. <laughs> I used to have a different name. But another motherfucker that came up off that name. Oh really? Yeah. So when I when I first started rapping, my name Nas. From don't nobody know that like new fans, but my name Nas, so they used to call me Lil Nas, you feel me? Oh, really? Then when I made the Instagram, I put the X in it, right? So I dropped a song called Killing Me, and shit got like 500, 600,000 views right now. So one day, I'm on the gram and shit, and niggas was in my comments like, damn, bro, you gay, this, that, and third. I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? Somebody sent me the motherfucker Lil Nas X making the Old Town Road song, some dumb ass shit, bro. Come to find out, nigga gay. So I was like, shit, he can have that name. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit, though. I'm cool. But shit, that's how that's how that happened. Then one day, I was just like, fuck it. I changed my Instagram name to 8 Little Slime. Then I changed it back to Lil X Nas. Then I changed it back to 8 Little Slime. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to stay by a slime. Hmm. I kind of like it better, though, for real, for real. Yeah. Just didn't want to be associated with uh, the yeah. little Nas. And then it was going to be weird, though, because it was, like, too much traction. Like, they really want to know who is who. Mm-hmm. So it would be somebody say Lil X Nas. Then they could say, you talking about the boy that sing this song? And they'd be like, no, I'm talking about this nigga. Yeah. So i just rather change it so they could say the name and know it's me. That's all. All right, let's talk about that new project, man. Uh, too slimy. What can you tell us about too slimy? Too slimy. I feel like that's like my best work up to date right now. Uh, I recorded that mixtape in a week. Oh, really? All freestyles. Hmm. I dropped it. I ain't gonna lie to myself. I was like, if I drop this tape and it don't go up how I should, I'm gonna chill off the music for real. For that's what I told myself. But when I dropped it. It was a, it was a good job that was fucking with it. Yeah. So like, it made me go hard. Like a lot of fans was fucking with it, different people, different cities, shit like that. So, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. And then you just dropped the deluxe version, right? Yeah. yeah. Gotta go check it out. The deluxe. The deluxe just add the, the rest of the sauce on the tape because the whole tape already fired. From every song, from yeah, from every song, for real, for real, the whole tape was just fire, and it gave me like a different like. It was like a different sound from if I was to drop a regular song. It like the sound it gave me just stuck out through the whole tape. 
it was like a different sound from my city. Cause like my city, they all on some uh some like I don't know how to explain it. They on like some mumble shit right now. So I don't know. Really. There's a couple motherfuckers that's not on the mumble rap for my city, but majority of them they got like the same sound right now. That's why when I dropped that tape, it like took me out of that. So I knew that because it was like people was telling me like, I don't sound like I'm from here. I sound like I'm from there. So I was like, shit, that's better than anyway. And talk to us about this new music video, uh, Ran It Up. Uh, Ran It Up. Shit, I just wanted to, I just felt like shooting a video right quick, to be honest. Like, uh, I called my cameraman up. I told him to meet me at the studio. We still shot a couple scenes outside, inside the studio, and we just dropped it. That's all to it for real, for real. We just recording and dropping, and letting it go to see what everyone going to blow the fuck up. What can you tell us about the first song on that project, Minuteman? Minuteman? Yeah. Minuteman. Shit. 2K for the Marys, man. <laughs> Minuteman. But like, Minuteman, that's that's one of my favorite, uh, that's one of my favorite songs on there. It's like a it's like a up tempo, like it's like a up tempo, John. That should have been. Like, shit, that's all, bro. Minuteman, you gotta listen to it to see what I'm talking about. I see folks were fucking this song Change On Me too. Change On Me? Yeah. Yeah. What can you tell us about that song? Uh that song was basically like involving like try to change my fucking life. Like how you gonna switch up on who helping you out, shit like that. That's where the bar come from, like try to change your life, how the fuck you change on me. Cross you once, can't trust you twice, I'm sorry. Basically that like It'd be a lot of that type of shit going on in the hood, so I was just feeling like that at a point in time. I just made the song for real, for real. Did you have any features on this tape? Nah, I ain't. I ain't had no features on this tape, but uh, my new tape I'm about to drop is going to have a couple features on there. I can't say the names, but it's going for sure have some good features on there though. And I saw you just dropped a new song called uh, Dope Boy. Yeah, Dope Boy. That was like some trap shit, some wavy trap shit, just popping my shit on the regular. It was like, yeah, that's basically what it is, just popping my shit on the regular, telling my fucking what's going on, run, like run away, basically. Is that going to be featured on the next project, or is that, was that just a... That was just a throwaway. I really wasn't gonna drop the song, but I got bored and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna let it go. For real, for real. All right, so what can you tell us about this new project? Do you got a title picked out? Slimy as ever. Okay. Too slimy than slimy as ever. Slimy as ever gonna be like, it's gonna be way harder than the last one. That's all I'm gonna say. The song's gonna be better, the quality and like the structure of the song's gonna be way better. Find yourself getting more and more comfortable each time you hit the studio and record? Yeah, I'm really comfortable in the studio because I've been recording for a minute. Like, so it's like, I know it like from the back of my hand. So I go in the studio, play my beat, knock it out. I'll be out like that for real, for real. It ain't really hard. You can't do it. You just dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who are some of the producers you've been working with on this new music? Uh, I've been working with a couple producers, man. Uh, I've been working with a nigga named On Froze and uh, Kai Gone Crazy. He produced beats for like Rallo, Rajubas, whatever his name is. But he do stuff like that. But one of my old producers, Sway, we got some couple new Johns on my new tape coming up too. He like was there like when I first started like coming back like with the music so i definitely put him back on the uh, new tape that's about to drop okay got your next single picked out or nah i don't know my next single but i'm gonna find it though <laughs> i just be recording and like i never really dropped singles uh before like i dropped my tape i just dropped my tape so it could be like a surprise like oh shit this nigga didn't drop 16 songs or something let me go listen to all of them motherfuckers but I'm gonna find it though. 
you kind of let your fans pick out their favorite songs and then shoot videos to that? Yeah. I really do the, uh, I figure out what I'm going to do the video to, whatever song, like, doing the most numbers. Like, yeah. so, like, I did, like, Minute Man and uh, Change On Me, shit like that. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do, like, private jet video, stuff like that soon. But that's how I, like, figure out what the video we're trying to do. When do you think this new project will drop? Shit, we'll be in prior September. Okay. Right in the middle of September. Yeah, right in the middle of September. I really was supposed to be dropping the tape every month, but I'd be caught up in some other shit, bro. Hmm. I'd be like, caught up in a whole bunch of other shit when I really should be in the studio. It's work. But shit, uh, Slimey is up. Should drop like the middle of September though. Probably put about 15 songs on it. Okay. Talk to us about the grind that comes with being an independent artist. Man, you gotta do everything yourself. Like, the niggas that sign got it good, bro, because they got the bag, the big bag behind them. Like, when you're independent, bro, you got to pay for your studio time, video shoot. You got to go shop your music, everything. Like, you got to find the right marketing, all that shit. But, like, I feel like it's better, though, because it ain't supposed to happen overnight. Like, shit happen fast. It's going to fall fast. So I'd rather just grind it out. So when I get there, I know it's stuck, like, because I didn't earn it. Like, I know the insides. Like, I know the in and outs of the shit, so... I'd rather just be independent than just go hurry up and sign a deal and get fucked over. Real shit right there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Slime, any shout outs before we get you out of here? Shit, man. Shout out to me. Y'all go check me out, man. Shout out to my block. Rest in peace to all the guys, though. That's for real, for real. shit. I done ran through a hundred, no capping. Any me in the trap, but I'm rapping. Take it down for a show, yeah, I'm taxing. If I hop in this yard, I'm getting off. I've been balling, no niggas ain't.